morning internet welcome to another video uh, it's me uh, my name is Ian and I go to Valley Village and thrift stores and make a bunch of money off it because it's fun so let's go see what we got today okay I just found this piece it's a single stitch Dunville auto wreckers in like a cool like peach color graphic on the back is pretty cool it's in good shape 449 Am I tripping? Did I not buy this shirt? Demons, like I vividly remember this. Did I just enter an alternate timeline? What's happening here? In this exact same size, I'm pretty sure. I'm tripping, I don't know. Maybe I died and I'm in a new life, I have no idea. I'm confused. Just found this cool Harley Davidson long sleeve. Cool graphic on the back and it's got Stuff on both arms. I'm gonna grab that. Just found this Star Wars trucker hat. Doesn't have a date in it. It's got a Star Wars tag. It looks like the 2000 Star Wars tag. Philclose.com. Made in China. I think I'm gonna pick it up. It's only $349. Usually their hats here are really expensive. I don't even look half the time. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Make Haggis great again. Haggis Fest 2017. Look at this hat. Absolutely disgusting. Like, looks like somebody actually peed on it right there. $7.49. Damn, this hat's hard as shit. Something right, fucking, something right there, though. I think I have to cop this, even though it's $8, which is absolutely ridiculous. This hat's pretty cool. New Era Hardwood Classics fitted. It's only seven and a half, which is pretty small. And it's 11 bucks, so. Found this hoodie from Pink, from the Pink Beautiful Trauma 2019 World Tour. Don't know if that's worth $8.99. Size large, I'm gonna look it up. There's three listed and no sold, so. We're gonna put it back. Yo, what do we think of this? Oh, baby. The king has left the building. Okay, I either struck, struck gold or I'm paying $25 for trash. This is a Michael Jackson Thriller Varsity Jacket. And I'm judging by the stitching that it's either hella vintage or homemade. It says, I don't think it's homemade because it says extra small. Like it has like a tag in it. And there's nothing here. And there's no other markings anywhere on it. So I'm guessing it's probably like a vintage bootleg. But I think at $22.99, it's still worth. I could probably get $50, i am guessing. I'm grabbing it. So I just saw this. Sealed Star Wars Trivial Pursuit. Looked it up. And it sells for what they're asking. So screw them. Just found this, super sandwich, vintage, sealed. There's a listing for 105 bucks. Just found this, <clears throat> found Piranha Panic. It looks complete. First part is, here's an old Value Village tag that's been taken off. And then a garage sale tag. And then the new Value Village tag. Fire. Just found this. I uh, can't find comps on it, but it's pretty cool. It's a tiny grand piano like jewelry case. I think it's really cool, but I don't wear jewelry, so it's gonna have to stay. This, it's Epcot Center license plate cover, still sealed with the $2 Walt Disney Productions tag on it. I'm definitely grabbing that. Yo, Value Village is so weird. Check this out. Like, it's an ear diagram, and then right beside it is a foam tooth diagram. For $4.99, those could be yours. Yo, look at this epic wizard. I'm gonna grab this for $2.99. All right, we're at the Secret Mystery Store. Thursdays are obviously the day that they're gonna be open, so let's see if Let's go see if they got anything good this time. Last week that uh, Looney Tunes shirt was crazy fire, so I'm looking for more of that. 
So I found this old Royal Bone China set. There's a tag. It's only $8 for the whole set, but I know nothing about China. And I hate shipping China because of the risk. So I think I'm gonna skip it, but Michelle's probably gonna yell at me. Found this 1995 head flipping Spider-Man for a quarter. So I'm gonna grab that. Just found this 1994 Winnie the Pooh plush for $2. Sells for about 12 to 15. Gonna grab him for two bucks. Just grabbed a couple hats. They're only a dollar here. Gonna put them in the booth. Not sure why, but she didn't charge me for the hats. So, got both those hats for free. Not that it is a big deal, because I think they're both a dollar, but whatever. Save a dollar, I'm down. Yo, I have some time to kill. I'm in Hamilton right now. Gonna check out a store I've never been to. Mission Thrift. It's just down the street from uh, Chit Chats, our, our uh, delivery company, so I'd imagine if it's any good, I'll be here quite a lot. Damn, I found these Nike IDs. They're my size. I was stoked, but they're a little cut. Just found these Lunar Air Force Ones. They're in my size, and they're 12 bucks. I'm not gonna... Probably not for sale. I'm gonna try them on, see if they're comfy or not. Because the toe box is kind of cooked. They don't sell that great. But I like them. I like them. I'm gonna check them for damage. 12 bucks. They're actually pretty comfortable. I just want a pair of 90s ACG for fucking sandals for $7. I think I'm gonna pick these up. These are hard as hell. Look at this Miami Vice hat. This, I can't, it looks vintage, look. That looks like a vintage tag to me. And it's pretty faded. $3. This is a Vancouver Canucks jersey. Specially licensed CCM. It's only $8. There's a little miscoloration there. Also, it doesn't have a number, but like, eight bucks. I feel like I could put that in a booth for like 20 bucks easy. I don't know, I'm gonna put it in the fire. Yo, the prices here are actually thrift prices. Look, six bucks for a pair of Adidas joggers. Wow, a store that's still pricing decently. It's a V Rex hoodie. This is like a cool 90s, 2000s brand. That's pretty good. It's only eight dollars. Look at the cool pull tag. I think I grabbed that too. Just found this Surfside pullover thing. It's only eight dollars. I feel like these are usually like fluorescent though, like holographic. I don't know if that's worth eight bucks. I think I'm gonna put it back. Just from this, I feel like this would do good in our booth. It's a vintage baby Mickey lamp with the matching shade. It's $8. Everything here is like $8. It's weird. Can't decide if I should buy that or not. Morning, everybody. Another day, another trip to Value Village. Today is Friday. We got a couple stops. I have to edit a wedding video, so I have to do that. But I have to go to Woodstock too, bring out a bunch of new clothes because we sold a bunch this week, so gotta stock it up. I kind of been slacking on stocking it, I'll be honest. So that's the plan for today. Let's go. Yo, has anybody noticed that like the ice cap lids and all the frozen drink lids at Tim Hortons leak like mad now? Look at this. Like, what the fuck? Banger alert. Boobies make me smile. On the puff print. This is probably actually vintage. It's not single. It's not single stitch. Probably like 2001, 2002. I just found three WWF shirts. They're all printed tag. Four, four actually. Hulkamania, Goldberg. This one's dope. This one's a Finn Balor. Just the Prince Fire. It's 7.49. I think. It's a 3x, so it'll probably be too big for me. 
It doesn't really sell for anything. It sells for like 20 bucks. But the graphic's sick, so I'm gonna put it in the cart. We'll see. Because I do like it a lot. 3X is gonna be way too big for me though. Somebody donated their whole wrestling up shirt. Here's two, here's two more. This one's cool too. It's strong style, but it's massive. Way too big for me. Jesus, it just keeps going. Hulkamania, this one's nothing. Wrestling, 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 wrestling. <laughs> Look at this shirt. Just a, has a tiny embroidered all dress chip. This graphic's pretty hard. But 749. My boy. Just got a pair of Nike Auto Flates. They're in good, good condition, just dirty, but 23.99. They only sell for like the 50-ish mark, so not worth. Just found these Osiris 2000 skate shoes. These things are like the puffy shoes are coming back, so I could probably sell these. They're really dirty, but they could be cleaned up pretty easily, but I don't know. $13.99. I got enough shoes at home right now. These are fire. If these were cheaper, I'd pick these up for Michelle, but they're $23.99. I think they're, oh, they're size 8 anyways. Too small for her. Just found this Tory Smith jersey. NFL Authentic Reebok. It's got a coffee stain there, but I'm pretty sure you wash it and that comes out. It's $849. I don't know. Like $849. I feel like I should grab this. I'll put it in the cart. Undecided. There's a bunch of jerseys here. This one is not in very good shape, that is for sure. That one can stay. It's only $6 though. Okay, I definitely gotta grab this one. This one is a vintage champion Randall jersey. Definitely gotta grab that one, 100%. That's probably 60 bucks, 50, 60 bucks. Okay, this is hard as shit. I have to get this. There's a stain there, which kind of sucks. Oh, it's never mind. it's been cut off. Damn, that sucks. Oh well, this so hard, but the stain's rough, and the cutoff makes it really bad. I don't know why, but I feel like I should buy this. I just picked it up because the name made me laugh, the Cock Sportif. It's definitely like 90s, early 2000s. I looked it up, it's actually like a pretty good brand. But it's $12. I know I looked at this earlier, like, like probably in the last video, and the pit stains were rough, which they are still rough. I think it would come out with OxyClean, and I didn't notice before that it's white tag, which means it's from the 90s, so. I'm gonna pick this up. Still can't decide on this. I feel like I'm gonna put it back. Fuck it. I thought these were vintage because they're using the old logo. And then I checked and it's got a date tag, 0219. So I guess they're, they switched back to the old logo. So I've been jabated. Look at these shorts. They're definitely vintage. Made in Jamaica. Richard Russell Caribbean Sportswear. This is like, it feels like dishcloth. And then this is like dress pant material. These are wild. Not to mention, look at how short they are. Fire. Just found this bad boy, like, MMA hoodie. I think it's pretty hard. I can't lie. It's $8.99. Bad boy pro series. Put it in the cart. Oh. Oh, it really smells like darts. Never mind, we're putting it back. I do not buy anything that reeks like darts anymore. It's just a rule. This windbreaker is hard as shit. It's got the high front. It's like an anorak shell. Project 84 by Blue Notes. Wouldn't expect Blue Notes to make something this sick. Now we're 20 bucks. And it's also too small for me, so you stay there. 
This is pretty far. G Star Raw. It's raw denim, which is nice. And it's brand new with tags. But 30 bucks is too much. Maybe get like 50, 60 for that. So too much. Now this on the other hand. Firestone Firehawk. Hella vintage. Sick graphic on the back. 949. Corporate clothing by Avon Sportswear. So this is probably 80s. Michelle said I can't spend any more money and it's not working very well. Just found some crazy white tag Nike windbreaker pants with the green on green check. Crazy. These are fire too. Some Nike gray tag. These are like different than windbreaker. It's like a stiff lining. Nike on the leg. Ooh, look at this. 2049. Come on, bro. Yo, look at this thing. What in the world am I looking at? This mother is haunted. I'm definitely gonna die tonight from touching this. All right, going through what I'm gonna grab here. Definitely gonna grab these. They're uh, 7.49 now. Gonna grab this Firehawk 80s jacket. It looks so good. I guess I should. This is good. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab this champion. It's like a little miss, a little thing there, but it's, I think I could just wash it. Champion Vikings. I bet Brad might buy that from me. I know he likes the Vikings. I'm grabbing this just because it's way tag. Twelve forty nine is pretty rough, but I could probably still sell it for thirty. I think. I don't know on this one for $8.49. I'm not gonna get this. I think it'll be way too big for me. Yeah, it'll definitely be too big for me. So I'll put that back. This, do I buy it? $8.49, the stitching's kind of rough. Nah, we'll put that back too. Look at me, Michelle, saving money. Yup, we're up in Woodstock now. I got a handful of about 20 new shirts and, you know, random stuff that I'm putting up. Um, set upstairs. It's interesting, our t-shirts and stuff have been doing so well. The booth across the street all of a sudden has a bunch of clothes. Very interesting. Look at us, inspiring. Let's, let's see what they got. Huey Lewis in the new Modern Huey Lewis in the news. Modern journey. Modern, modern. What the hell is that? All right, well, that's not any competition for us, I don't think. Yo, I came to our favorite booth and they finally got tags. So I figured out who the hell they are. Turns out they've been following us on Instagram for a hell of time and I didn't even know. Look at how fire this shirt is. It says it's an XL, but there's no way this is fitting me. Unfortunately, this is insane. Okay, last stop of the day, Goodwill, Woodstock. I think this is the only thrift store here now, so. I wonder if the stuff's gonna get better. I don't know. This game sells for like 20 to 30 bucks if it's complete. The problem with being here though, is I can't check that it's complete because they tape it shut. So, I have to decide if I want to gamble or not. Found this too. 499 Mystery Mansion. The search game with a clue in each room, a secret behind every door. But once again, can't check if it's complete. And this one only, this one sells for like 20-ish, so. Now we're at the risk. It's another one, 1978 Game of Life, 499. Sells for 20 to 35, but I can't check it, so. 
I don't know, man. Too risky. Just found this Northern Colorado Bears on Vintage Champion. It's 829, I think I might grab that. Just found this wildly fake jersey, look at it. Look at the way the NBA logo looks. Looks like Batman playing basketball. Doo-doo. All right, all I grabbed was Stratego and the Vintage Champion. Those, there was some kids in there that were straight up driving me up the wall, bro. Like, there's like five kids just absolutely screaming. So, that's the way she goes. But, you know, that's whatever. We're done for the day. Um, I'm gonna go, gotta go home, finish an edit on a wedding video, and then that's that. I don't know if we're gonna do anything tonight. It's a nice day. I might suggest we head to Port Dover for dinner, but if not, then I'll see you next time.